What's up? Hey guys, it's Yvonne. In this quick video, I want to show you how to embed a map from Google Maps onto your website. In this case, I will be using ClickFunnels as my funnel slash website builder, but this same idea will work on WordPress, Unbounce, lead pages, whatever you're using, okay? So it's going to look like this. This is especially cool if you're promoting paper call campaigns and you have a physical business and you want to show a map. So in this case, I'm showing 40 seconds tweet, okay, in New York. And um, so I pulled up the address in Google Maps and I want it to show on my website just like that. If I want people to reach out to me, to call me and, you know, make the website look legitimate. So that's what it will look like. So. Let's begin and I'll show you how to put the same map and some of the things you have to change. So here I am in my other ClickFunnels page. Um, let me just add a, a column here. And what we're gonna have to do here is add a JavaScript element because this will be a JavaScript embed code. So I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and say custom JavaScript slash HTML. If you're using any other page builder, you would be looking for something like this where you can basically input your own custom code. So again, doesn't have to be click funnels. So now that we have that set up, what I need to do is get the custom embed code of this address. So I'm gonna click on share. I'm gonna click on embed a map and copy this HTML. Okay, so I'll just click that or I can select this manually and click control C. And I will go back here and I'm going to paste it here. Open and I will paste it, okay. Uh, so I have that there. Now this doesn't look complete. As you can see, it doesn't have anything over there. So sometimes what you have to do is actually just refresh it and make sure it has words after it says PB, otherwise it won't embed, okay? So let me go here. So you see this, it says PB equals. So if you don't have anything after the PB equals, uh, it will show a map of the whole world, okay? You don't want that. So what you want to do is make sure it has these little letters there, okay? All these. So let me copy the code now and let me repaste it here. And that is it. So I'll click save and let's see what that looks like. There are a few things you do have to change though if you want to make it look good. Maps, Google, okay, it doesn't matter. So let's preview. And now our map looks like this, okay? So it's perfect, we have what we need, but a, the map is on the left-hand side, and B, the map is pretty small. So let me show you how to fix both of these if you want to. So I'm gonna click back here, click open. So if you want to center the map, you would enter this triangle bracket thing, and then click uh, type in center, okay, in between. You type that in at the start, it just says center. Now I'll click save, and I click preview. And now we should see it centered. Now that's awesome. What if you want to make it bigger or smaller? You can. So let's go back in here, <clears throat> open editor. And over here at the very end, you see it says width 600, height 450. You can change that to whatever you want to, but make sure the dimensions stay the same. Otherwise it will look disproportionate. It's not gonna look good. It's gonna look stretched out. So you wanna make sure the proportions are the same. So the proportions for these are, Four width for every three height. So four to three ratio, okay? So if you wanna change the width to 1000, for example, you have to make sure that there are still four widths in every thousand for the heights, okay? So for every three heights. So if you make this 1000, I just wanna show you how to do the math here. So you may be wondering, okay, well, if I make it 1000, what should I set the height to? So what you do then is you take 1000, you divide it by four, and you multiply it by three. So in this case, your height should be 750, okay? Let's take another example. Let's suppose you want your width to be 850, okay? What should your height be? So then again, you do the same thing. You take 850, you divide that by four, and you multiply it by three, so your height should be 638, okay? So round it up, round it down, whatever's closer. And now let's close out of that and save and take a look, and the map should be bigger. Scroll down, and here it is. As you can see, it's much bigger than the small one that it was, and obviously you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller, just make sure dimensions are the same, not to make it skewed. And that's pretty much it. That's how you create, uh, that's how you embed the Google Maps map onto your website. If you guys have any other questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. 
and subscribe. I cover a lot of different online marketing tools, tips, tricks, reviews, stuff like that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.